Hi, Water Signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Thank you for being here for your tarot reading. Today, we're going to be looking at when and will your person commit to you. So this is going to be a reading focused on their energy, what's going on with them, when will they commit, why they haven't, what's sort of keeping that um, prevented uh, or something that's, um, you know, we'll, we'll suss out the situation and basically see what's up with this person. So... Please subscribe if you haven't already um, for private readings please reach out to me um, otherwise you can become a channel member so don't forget to sign up to that for member only content um, so let's get into this let's see what's coming up next to your person here okay when will they commit why haven't they okay Let's crown the reading. Let's crown it. Okay. So this person, I'm getting Capricorn energy. Uh, we've got the devil. That's sort of crowning the reading here. So um, the devil and the seven of wands straight away takes me like this. Probably uh, There's like a conflict or something that's going on from, from this person's side. There's something that you're doing, water signs, that this person isn't necessarily happy with. And it's preventing them from opening themselves up to you. Um, I feel like a conversation has taken place about this, though. So it's not, you know, it's something that they've expressed to you. Uh, and it's something you haven't acted on or changed about yourself. Hence why this person is holding back. I get a sense of holding back. Um, so they have communicated it to you with the Queen of Swords. It does represent that conversation here. Now, it could be that this person wants to be single as well. To be honest, I feel like they are tied to you. You do have a very strong connection towards each other. So there could be crazy passion, crazy chemistry between the both of you. Um, you know, there's something very spiritual about what you have with this person. But the Seven of Wands is like, I get that there's, there could be trust issues going on. Now, they, you might have had a devil moment. There might have been some cheating. Maybe there's some, like, you know, some vice going on. Um, but something's happening here like an addiction, maybe some womanizing, being like a bit of a free agent or acting single, and it's preventing this person from wanting to commit to you. They're, they're actually angry about it, and I feel like there's like this projecting kind of energy um, that's happening around them. I mean, it might be them because the world card is here, so maybe this person is trying to keep themselves, uh, keep, keep their options open. But... I also get a sense that they're trying to keep the door open at the same time. So yeah, when I see this, I feel like with the world, they're, they're, they're open to the possibility of a future with you, but they're also open to other possibilities here as well. Um, ultimately, long term, I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles, they do want to settle. So underneath it all, they're subconscious. Um, is that they do they do want commitment and they do want to settle down. I'm seeing someone is at a point in their life where they are wanting, you know, they're, they're just about ready to find someone or have someone in their life that can give them this Queen of Pentacles energy. She's the last queen of the deck, so I get that there might be a lot of ladies out there that are ready for commitment. Um, okay, more more than they've ever been before, so there's like this readiness. Um, the High Priestess is reversed. There might be some things they're sort of keeping to themselves. I mean, it might be that they're not ready to go exclusive. They're not ready to go exclusive with the commitment. Um, water signs, you know, they might be, they might be connected to other people. They have other people on social, um, social media. They might still be talking to them. Maybe they're doing a bit of flirting. This person is keeping their options open. Um, I'm not surprised. You've got a very attractive person here with the devil. Um, so I'm not, I'm not surprised that other people are speaking to them. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is the flirt. So, um, you know, I feel like this person is keeping their, their, emotions open but at the same time it's like they want to settle but they don't want the drama that comes with having relationships now relationships take work they're not easy by no means easy there's always going to be problems no matter with who you're with um 
So like, I feel like they want to stay away from that drama. This is reverse. They might've come out of something recently with an ex or in their previous relationships and they got hurt badly. Um, you know, they were doing a lot, maybe it was one sided. So they invested a lot in the relationship. They don't want that pattern to repeat again. So maybe that's why they're sort of taking things slower, but I would definitely be, you know, be careful around this person because if they're sort of acting like the devil, if they're like posting provocative pictures of themselves, you know, they're obviously doing it. They want the tension, right? So they're obviously wanting to attract same sex, opposite sex. That's what the devil is. It's temptation. So they, they like this little thing. If that's all that you're after, you know, that's fine. But if you're after something more and you want more depth, um, like I said, ultimately, I do feel like this person is the settling type. I don't think they want to stay single and be like that forever. Um, but at this stage, they just have so many options in their life. They can't really pick a person and choose. I feel like they're struggling with that a bit. Like I said, I'm getting a lot of attention from this person. Queen of Swords, people want to talk to them. They want to communicate. High Priestess is reversed, so I'm wondering if they're keeping things from you. They're not being entirely honest. Um, so I think a conversation may need to take place here. You might need to ask them outright, you know, like, what are we? Where is this going? Is this worth my time? Otherwise, you know, you don't want to be left strung along by this person. Could also be that they will be willing to commit as long as the relationship is easygoing. Like, there's no labels, there's no pressure on each other. You can still be free agents and independent might be someone here who's actually wanting an open kind of relationship here. Okay, it could be international. You might know someone online, could be living overseas, elsewhere, different city. They've got people in their city, state or country. So, you know, you need to be aware of that. If they want you, they'll make you the priority um, and they'll remove everyone else. But, you know, if they're, if they're sort of, if they see that in you, if they want commitment and then they see that you've got a lot of people, you know, you're getting a lot of attention, it's sort of making them lose their interest in you because they're like, oh, you know what, they've got options, they'll be fine. Like, you know, so maybe they don't feel like they need to try hard enough. So look, you might have to cut down. I mean, water signs, you may be the one with a lot of options here, but you might have to cut down the people you talk to because you might need to decide who's the one you want to make the priority um, in this, in this connection, in this relationship. So, mm, um, very interesting, but I am going to leave it there. Um, I thank you so much for watching. It really does mean a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, if you haven't already. I do hope this reading has been helpful. And if you'd like a private reading with me, please reach out. Um, I am currently accepting those Otherwise, I'm sure we'll be in touch again very, very soon. So thank you, everyone. Lots of love and angel blessings. And until next time, bye for now.